for the most part, people in Hong Kong are not religious or they're Buddhist. Um, so that makes teaching about Jesus Christ both easier and not easy at the same time. Um, it's a lot different from the States where you go to places that have like people who know the Bible really well, because I feel like people who know the Bible really well are very stubborn in like how they or what they believe in their, in their beliefs and morals. But Hong Kong people just have no idea for the most part. Like they've heard of Jesus Christ and there's a lot of Catholics and there's even Jehovah's Witnesses there and Protestants there. So there are a lot of churches there. But they've only been there for about 50 years because until then, Hong Kong was, until 50 years ago, Hong Kong was under communist rule. And so, um, yeah, since about 1950, so I guess 60 years. But um, for a lot of people, especially of the older generations, they have no idea what it means to believe in God. And so a lot of your discussions are about God is your loving Heavenly Father. God loves you. And you'd be surprised how many people just don't know that or don't have any idea about that. Um, but I found a lot of similarities in Buddhism and ancestor worship that really correlate with the gospel. Just like any other church, they have truths and they have beliefs that are, are correct. Um, family history is so important to Chinese people. Um, like you can imagine ancestor worship means you need to know who your ancestors are, right? And you think about them after they're gone. Um, and you, what they do is they have like little burnt offerings. So like they'll burn fruit. They'll, well, they'll take a bowl of fruit and they'll put a stick of incense in it and they'll burn it. And once that incense is burnt, it means that that food is available for the deceased ancestor to eat. And like, there are even some people who will burn like money. <laughs> if I guess like their ancestor really liked gambling, <laughs> they'll burn money or cigarettes or cell phones or even like laptop computers. Like they want to take care of their family. That really is important to them. Um, so yeah, like that's really interesting to come at from a gospel perspective to be like, you know what, you don't need to worry about them because they're with their father in heaven and, um, and they're happy now. Like things like that are just really interesting to talk about. And then, um, the Chinese are very like health conscious, very body conscious. And so like, they're always concerned about what's going into their body and how healthy they are. Um, and they're really into their teas and their herbal things like that. So the word of wisdom actually really hits home for a lot of them, but except for the tea part. <laughs> the tea part is really hard for them to accept. Um, but besides those two things, and maybe um, keeping the Sabbath day holy is really hard for people, especially in Hong Kong, because it's just so fast. Like everyone's working, everyone's going places. The city is always awake. Like you'll hear cars and taxis all the time. But um, yeah, they, besides those couple of things, I feel like most Chinese people live gospel standards pretty regularly. Like they don't normally have a lot of law, law of chastity problems or things like that. And like, it's common sense not to steal, not to lie. It's, they believe in being honest and things like that. So yeah, um, I don't know what else to say about that, but yeah, they're, they're really, they're really good people and, and the gospel can really help them.